Aaron, I, I wonder if it, everything oh, feels better around the Yankees when Judge has a big swing in a game. <laughs> yeah, it was. And, and it give us some breathing room there. You know, game got a little short for us there, you know, having to run through some pen. And it was, it was a big swing to get kind of give us that cushion. Um, yeah, I think I think the, the, the bench was pretty pumped when that happened. Other questions for Aaron? Uh, we'll go right up to front to the first. I don't know what it was, two months of the season and now into the playoffs. He's just been a complete catalyst for us. Good at bat after good at bat, really consistently day in and day out now for going on a few months. Um, and it's that's who he is. That's the kind of player he is. That's the kind of hitter he is. Um, but he's been enormous for us. Piece it together there, but he got us off to a good start and and gave us a chance to 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 secure the second game. A bit further to your left, Aaron. Aaron, what's the feeling heading into Cleveland with a two nothing lead? Um, I mean, certainly, like right now, it always feels good to to you know to get wins in a series and and in a playoffs. Um, obviously, knowing we have a day off tomorrow, we'll travel tomorrow, um, so we'll enjoy this tonight. But um, you know, it's just you got to keep moving um you know we need we need two more here and but we can't get ahead of ourselves you know we just talked about it's one game at a time and uh you know excited to hand hand clark the ball in game three and and hopefully try and get another one uh, meredith to your right aaron you mentioned piecing it together after cole you leaned on tim hill pretty heavy today five outs for him just what did you think of of his performance and once again the bullpen coming yeah i mean they were great i mean obviously clay coming in in a huge spot there um, to get us out of the fifth and and keep us give, keep keep the lead for us and then and then Tim Hill was huge you know going from from the bottom I, I think I started him with Rokio there um, through had the one two three inning um, was considering going right to Tommy there in the what would that have been the seventh uh, for Ramirez but once we once we extended the lead by two. Um, I really wanted him to go back out and, and go through Naylor. Um, he got both of them out, which was huge. And then I was able to sh shorten it a little bit there for Tommy. And Tommy gets four big outs for us, obviously, and and uh, and we finishes it off. So great job by those guys down there. They they uh, you know they did their job really well again tonight. And the pop up that they dropped, I thought he got a great swing off too. It's you know one of those you just miss. That it's, it's that close to being. A home run and um but definitely good to see him uh you know put one in the seats um and and really give us a cushion there i'll stay over there with gary what'd you think of anthony rizzo tonight but also just the entire bottom of your order yeah um i mean riz was great i mean kind of same same bullet he hit last night to to get things started uh up the middle and then Really good at bat there um, off the lefty, you know, to to get us another tack on run there, which which really allowed me to send, you know, Tim Hill back out there for two more big outs. You know, it's those little things that are so important in the course of a game that allow you to navigate just a little bit easier. Um, and then Anthony Volpe, more good at bats. Uh, thought a great two-strike hit to, to get his day started. Um, I thought got some really good swings off, really encouraged by how he's looked here, really since the the week of work before the division series carried it into both series where I feel like he's having a lot of really good at-bats. Uh, we'll go to Jake over there, and then we'll finish on the left here. I'm just um, curious, based on these last two days, would you say that you're content with the performance the team delivered or, um, in, in these first two? Are you happy with it? Are you enthused by it? Like, where, where are you at, given some of the, you know, the sloppy base running things that happened today um it's, it's about getting wins like i mean we're 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 in postseason um you know I, I mean those things are gonna happen we're going for a double steal if he gets thrown out at third you don't say anything but he got picked off doing it so it's gonna happen we're not gonna not be aggressive in certain situations we'll try and guard against it as best we can and then riz just had a had a funky read on what he thought kind of went ended up going to the backstop so um you know i i feel overall we're playing pretty well i'll finish up in the second row on your left aaron were you surprised at all when they decided to walk soto to get to judge and how do you think he responded to that it's not a yeah um with him. um not i wasn't i i can't say i was totally shocked there um 
Um, no, I can, you, you never know. You know what a team you you, you got to pick your poison sometimes and and they were up against it a little bit in that situation and going to Smith that early in the game down three you know you're kind of trying to just you need something to go really well to keep yourself in the game so you know sometimes you got to take a little bit of shot a shot that's a little bit unconventional. Aaron, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Well, let's take a look at your Ford leaders' postseason managerial wins for the Yankees all time. Of course, Joe Torre far and away with 76, but Aaron Boone now fifth on the all time list with his 19th postseason win. And as we listen to everything he was talking about there, what jumps out of you? More pitching and bullpen or more offense? Well, I'm glad he brought up Anthony Rizzo again because last night I said, I'm amazed at what Anthony Rizzo is doing. I'm amazed at how good he looks at the plate, how hard he's hitting the ball. But I'm glad Aaron talked about Anthony Volpe too. His at-bats look so much better 